Bell of Atri. A long time ago, in Italy, there lived a good king, who was loved by everyone. One day, the king decided to build a bell tower in the village. I would like to build a bell tower for my people to be treated fairly. Great thought, Your Majesty. I will make the arrangements. The tower was built. And the king chose the finest bell for it. Upon the completion of the bell tower, the king, his nobles, and the people in the village had gathered. This bell tower is so beautiful! I reckon! This bell is for everyone. The rope for this bell is long enough for any man, woman, or child to use. If someone ill treats you, you can ring it and one of my judges will come to seek justice for you. Well thought for us village people, your majesty. This bell is going to spread kindness amongst us. Long live the king! Long live the king! After a couple of weeks, the bell rang vigorously. Somebody help me! Oh, somebody help me see justice! Upon hearing the bell ring, the judge and the village crowd had gathered there. What is it, madame? My neighbor has been stealing flowers from my garden. And she has just been lying about it. My husband is unwell and unfit to work. I grow the rare lilies in my garden and sell them for my living. But my neighbor just comes and steals them in the midnight. May we have the neighbor come forward, please? Oh, dear judge, she has just been blaming me for her misfortune. How can a woman my age steal the flowers overnight? She is falsely accusing me. We may inspect your house and the surroundings to understand the situation. The judge called the detectives and they inspected the old neighbor lady's house. They found trails of the flower petals in the neighbor's house. My dear, what is this? I, um, don't know what this is. The winds have been very strong lately. The judge pointed at the flower petal trail that went to a sack. The detectives opened the sack, and they saw the flowers in it. I am sure the wind did not bring this sack, my lady. You would rather speak the truth than lie in front of such huge evidence. Fine! I am sorry! I told you so! The judge, detectives, and the maiden came back to the Bell of Atri, where the inquisitive people stood. We happened to find this sack full of flowers in the maiden's neighbor's house. These flowers rightfully belong to the maiden. I knew the truth. I told you! I was sorry! No, madame. A simple apology will not suffice. My jury has rightfully decided to ensure you pay for the damages you have caused to this young maiden. A calculated 300 euros, including the fine for robbery, is what is due. Oh, fine! The justice has been served rightfully! Long live, Long live the, the king! king. Long live the king! Long live the king! Long live the king! 
The village was extremely happy with the Bella Battery. Years passed, and the people learned to be kind to each other. The bell of Atri has not rung in a very long time. I could not be happier. The village is at peace. Likewise, Your Majesty. So, after some time, the bell of Atri was barely rung. One morning, the mayor and the secretary walked past the tower. Oh dear! The rope of the bell had frayed away from the end. We must get a replacement for this rope. The king said it should be long enough for men, women, and children to ring it. Yes, but there are no rope makers in Atri. We got the rope from the nearby town upon the king's request. We shall do that. But in the meantime, we will tie a grapevine to this bell. I appreciate it, but I don't know where to get a strong grapevine right away. I have a grapevine in my garden that has grown long and strong. You can come by to take it and repair the rope till the new one comes. But make sure it is long enough for even the smallest child to reach it. Okay. The secretary then went to the mayor's house to get the grapevine. And repaired the bell rope by firmly tying it. Whew! Good for now. The very next morning, the village was awakened by the bell ringing urgently. Oh dear! I wonder who is in so much distress. Mother, I do not want to wake up now. There is no school. Villagers slowly gathered, confused as the bell had not been rung in so long. What could go wrong in this kind land of Atri now? Oh my my! The villagers were astounded to see. It was neither a man nor a woman nor a child. It was a horse. <laughs> <laughs> the judge then came by. Who rang the bell so frantically today? It's just a horse that has come for a quick bite. Maybe the grapevine was not the best idea. Wait a minute. The judge looked at the horse carefully. He was old, bony, and extremely frail. My word! He is so old and weak. Does anyone know who he belongs to? Not me. Do you? The villagers mumbled amongst themselves, until a town postman stepped ahead. I know where he is from. He's the old military man's horse. Oh, really? Yes. He used to belong to an old soldier uphill. He carried the soldier to the battle and has also saved his life. You saved my life, but after the war ended, instead of giving the horse a well-deserved rest, he made the poor thing work on the farms. Plow faster! The man made the horse work until he was old and weak. He did not feed him well. He didn't take care of him. But since the horse turned old, he had decided to abandon him. And since then, this poor horse has been wandering without shelter, eating whatever he can find on the roadside. That's awful. We must seek justice for this poor horse. We must bring the old soldier here and confront him. The messengers went up to the hill and brought the old soldier to the bell of Atri. We are gathered here because we heard a very urgent bell ring today morning. Yes, 
I heard it in the morning. Turns out it was this old horse. Do you happen to recognize him? No, no. Oh, I see. So this horse still has an etch from the military, and you were the only soldier here. I, 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 I don't know. I, I. So it is true that this is the horse you abandoned. I, I didn't. Yes, you abandoned this poor horse. Despite him saving your life and serving you well for years, he became too old to help me. I couldn't do much. Abandoning someone who's old, whether it's a human or animal, is like leaving someone when they need you the most. Hmm. Look at the horse. He is so bony and frail. They need love and care, especially when they are old. Hmm. I understand. He hasn't eaten anything good. Poor soul was even ready to eat the vine hanging down from the bell. The soldier was guilty and hung his head in shame. I apologize for such an ill behavior towards my dear horse. I don't know what I was thinking. I clearly underestimated my past and the values. Apologize to your horse, sir. He has been with you through thick and thin. I'm sorry, my friend. I should have treated you better. I will take you home. You will not only take him home, but you will make him a good stable and feed him well. He deserves to be treated well until the end of his days. I understand. I will take him and ensure he's safe and healthy. I will never abandon him again. I vow to look after him very well. Upon hearing this, the judge was content. Everyone in the village cheered. The horse nuzzled the soldier. <laughs> You're tickling me. The soldier took him home, built him a stable to stay, and gave him utmost comfort ever since. Sometimes the villagers would visit the horse to give him food and greet the soldier, and that is how the most unusual case in Atri was solved. All thanks to the Bell of Atri, which still stands today in Italy. And it garners a lot of tourists around it. The Bell of Atri is a great reminder to always be kind.